Hey everybody, welcome back to Sabico. We're about to finish out the first year, but if you're just jumping in, you might want to go to the main run through. You can hit that eye up in the top right corner of the screen to see what's happened so far. But if you're ready to continue, folks, welcome back to Spain. Welcome back to the Alhambra. So we've just finished the first year, which means it is now time to go through all of these steps up here for end of year. First of all, income. If anybody had consolidated trade routes, they would get some income now. Also, sometimes some of the poems can give uh, income income as well. But nobody's got any income right now. Next up, if we come back over there, the uh, turn marker moves forward, which means we finished the first year and we're going to be heading into year two. And we have just unlocked the first Sultan's request, which means we're going to score points now based on this. This comes over here. It goes into the first spot, which says, hey, every poem is worth one victory point uh, and this is a one and this is a two over here for the second and third scoring things. Every po is worth one victory point. Now, I have a victory point and um, uh, Yusuf has a victory point. So we both score one point right now. That guy, I just can't catch up with him. Okay, then, um, but this is going to have, um, we're going to score this again. When we get to uh, round uh, four, we will score this, the blue plus all poems. When we get to the end of the game, we'll score the blue plus all poems plus the building types. So this is going to score multiple times. That's why I wanted to get a poem done really quick, especially a blue poem, because it'll score even more later on. So anyway, so we move those up, we trigger a scoring, and then the Sultan must be made happy. The next symbol here is spend those stars, everybody. And we spend based on what the Sultan requests. Are. There's a number two there. So everybody has to spend two stars. I will spend one, two. Yusuf has infinite stars, so they never have to worry about that. So uh, the important thing is I stayed in the lead. Wait a minute. No, no, no. He does have to make the Sultan happy. I forgot. All right. And since he never earned any of the stars, there are other ways to pay. They're all kind of summarized on each player's uh, personal board over here. When it comes time to pay the Sultan, ideally, you just want to have those stars to give up. If you don't, you can give up two coins for everyone you missed, one point for everyone you missed, or one seal. So he has a seal, so he'll say goodbye to that, and then he's got to lose a point because he was so busy doing other stuff that he wasn't ready to take care of the Sultan. I was ready, and so I didn't have to lose anything else. Woohoo! Okay, so now, um, it, next up, it says, hey, check to see if we switch events. We will not switch events until the uh, end of the third year. So this event still stays in place. Poems are more expensive to inscribe. Next up, everybody wakes up. All of our workers stand up, ready to go. And suddenly, we're not a worker placement game anymore. We're a rondelle game, where I am moving my workers clockwise around the board. Oh, and this one, who never actually went out, also gets up. Uh, the gold ones, they're just there to block things. They don't bother standing up. But the next thing says, if you're playing with gold, they all move to the next one. So, uh, one, two, three... Four, and then there's two merchants, I believe. One, two, and then there are two artisans or two poets. All right, so they all move to mix up the board, and um, then we refill stuff. Hey, we need two new poems out here. So there's one, there's one. We need uh, another miner. Wow. Nobody ever came and got this marble. So we don't have to refill the marble, but we do have to refill the trade goods. There's suddenly one, two, three that are missing. So we'll refill those with some clay, some more cloth. There are three types of trade goods and some sugar. Okay, so we refilled that. And, um, oh, he also, Yusuf also did a storage upgrade. And then finally, the last step, we determine player order. Whoever is highest gets to pick. So I could keep this for myself if I want to go right away because I, I want to get first dibs on stuff. Or if somebody's in my way and I'm hoping they'll get out of my way so I don't have to pay money to move into where they are, I could give this to somebody else and hope they get out of my way before I go first. Let's see. So I need to think about that. What do I want to do if I'm going to be rushing right out of the gate? Well, let's see. I'd like my merchant to consolidate. So that's almost, I'd probably rush right out and do this. And there's nobody there, so it's not being blocked. Or if I have this guy, well, I by default, when you're moving around the rondelle, you can move one or two spaces clockwise for free, but you got to pay a coin for every additional space you want to go. I wouldn't want to come here because it's occupied. But if I come over here, I could build a store. Oh, that'd be nice. Okay, I think I'm going to hold on. I think I want to go first. I can see enough things that... um. 
I want to grab before somebody else grabs. So we are up first, and uh, off we go into year two. Once again, I've got four workers, two master builders, one who is still waiting over here, waiting to get on the rondelle. Interesting also, say I just didn't have anything good to do with my poet. I could have my poet, instead of moving clockwise to do things, I could have my poet come off the board and work in my shop and make me three coins and lose another victory point if I wanted to. So what am I going to do? Um, knowing, you know what, I think, let's see, this consolidate spot is already blocked, although, hey, there's a nice bonus to be had if I come here, I could get some more trade goods, which would be nice, or some raw goods, uh, I, w I see, I'm, I'm only down to two storage, I would like to get some more storage as well, so I think, you know, because I got frozen out last time, this storage was blocked by this, the other one was blocked by Yusuf, I think my first action is to have this laborer go one, two. I'm moving into an area that is empty, so I do not have to um, pay anything. I'm not moving further. I don't, I'm giving up the opportunity to get bonuses, because there's no bonus here, but I will get to grab one of these two storage upgrade options. So they both give me one extra storage space. This one also gives me three coins. This one gives me an unprocessed good, and it lets me process it. Ooh, well, that's nice. I could go right out and do some more shipping with two processed goods. Sweet. But on the other hand, I'm looking for what I'm going to do in the future. My merchant, again, I would like to ideally just move up to one or two spaces. If I move one space, hey, that's great. I consolidate, which means I start getting income off the city I delivered to last time. But if I move two, I can come over here. This says that I can process two goods. And since I'd also be able to pick this up for free, that means I'd be able to process this for free. And plus anything else I've got on hand, if I've got other stuff. Plus, I could also pay two coins. Um, a, a, a poet only has to pay one if they move into this spot. I could get this marble so I have more high-quality building material for buildings or poems. Hmm. But on the other hand, I'm almost broke, and cash is always hard to come by. Cash is king. Yeah, I, I think this is the one I'm going to take. So I moved over here. I'm building one of these. These don't cost anything, but I am going to increase my storage potential, and I'm going to get three coins right now. So I come back over to my board. I can upgrade any of these slots, and because I'll be covering up this victory point, I earn, that's a reminder that I earn one victory point. I'll just go ahead and put it here, although I could just easily, say, put it right here, and the stuff just stays in. So... Now, this storehouse can hold two items. One, two. Um, and it gives me three coins right now, which I desperately need. Okay, so I've got more storage. I can hold up to five things in my storehouses now, and I am rich again. Well, three coins rich, anyway. Okay, so that's it for me. Yusuf, I forgot, was supposed to reshuffle uh, Yusuf's uh, actions. So we don't know what order their Yusuf's workers are going to go. Let's see what's up first. Yusuf says, hi, I'd like one of my builders to go build, please. And Yusuf says, hey, I want to move um, whichever builder. Yusuf is going to move them uh, around the board, too. And whichever builder, master builder, uh, either this one or this one, has to move the least distance to get to this space is going to do it. That is this one. One, two. Comes in here, doesn't have to pay, um, and is going to do another upgrade. So they'll just take this one because it's the only one available. And is going to do a major build. All right. And again, they want the high... All right. So there's another one that fits the uh, Sultan's needs. That is the next highest one. So they will just build that. And then it says, hey, get a point for every... Because they don't get points for the built materials they use. They get points for everything they built. So he just got two more points. One, two. Easy peasy. Okay. Well, I'm certainly glad here I beat Yosef here. Because um, if I'd come a little later, it would have been more expensive. Okay. Next up. I've still got a worker, and I've still got my poet, and I've still got my... And see, one of the reasons I want to get more money is because I want to take advantage of my discount plus get points. I want to do this in all five years. But it's a tricky thing about this. If I want to do another poem, my poet has to go one, two, three steps, which means I have to pay an extra coin. It's kind of like they planned it that way. So that's why I needed more cash. But not only that, I need uh, to do another poem, either you know, one of the major ones or the minor ones. I need a basic building material. It's great that I've got this super deluxe stuff, but I need some gypsum wood or um, what do you call it? The uh, marble to be able to carve. So, so, how about I do that trick I was talking about earlier? Moving my merchant, 
I'd like to consolidate and start getting this income, but right now I think I've got bigger fish to fry. Gonna move to, come over here, into this space. Now this space has four, five things I could do. First of all, if I have presence in any city, I can get the benefit of it. I do. The benefit? More ceramics, please. Although I'm getting, I only have room. Well, I'll put it over here. I've got room for two more things, but oh, that means I could I could make a killing building with these ceramics. Okay, so I got the bonus now. Oh, I will also get this for free, hooray! And um, I can pay two coins, which I will. There's three, get one to get um, some lovely marble building material. Now I've only got room to store one more thing. And finally, I can upgrade two trade goods, although I've only got one to upgrade. And now I am completely full. I need to spend some of these things. But that was a very lucrative turn. Probably better. I mean, as, not, as nice it would be to have gotten it locked in this income sooner, this was too good to pass up. All right, so that was it for me. Uh, Yusuf, what you got, bud? Yusuf's poet is, is on the move. Oscar Mike. And she wants to go all the way around. Bippity boopity boop, boop. She just paid through the nose to get up to this space. And um, and normally this is, hey, get three bucks plus a buck for every other two poets. But not Yusuf. Yusuf says, I break all the rules and I just make a poem. So last, remember, Yusuf always makes a minor and then a major. So Yusuf this time is going to do a major and they just take the highest uh, num or alpha numeric one, or uh, I should say, uh, because this is A3, this is B2, this is C3, this is D3, this is gone. If I wanted to get bonus points at the end of the game for working my way up the Sultan's track, too late now. Yusuf has beat me to it. And that's it. Just doing the poem, nothing else. So now Yusuf has two poems. And um, there are still three more I could get for bonus points at the end of the game. So, back to me. All right. What is up now? Okay, I need to get this stuff gone. I need to clear this stuff out. Is there a island I can get to that needs, that, or I should say needs, that wants sugar and cloth that I can re that I can afford to reach. Let's see, this, and ideally is blue, because blue is better in this game. Um, in this case, yes, way over here. But to get to this island, it's going to cost me two, four. Four coins to make it there. But then I could get such a huge killing on, on Constantinople. But no, I can't afford that. I could have, I mean, I could spend my last two coins and come here. And again, I, again, you want to give the matching stuff, but you don't have to. I could give up both of these and, you know, this is processed. This would be worth one point and one star instead of two points and two stars. And I'd be clearing out my storage to be able to do more stuff. And I will immediately get three bucks. So I've spent two to get three. That's pretty nice. Here's the problem, though, folks. All that discussion, oh, sure, that's great. But how do I actually get another one of my ships to you know, sail from here? Because now that I'm here, I'd only have to spend two to get another ship over there. I have to do a merchant action. My merchant is all tuckered out. I can't do. I can't get rid of these until I can trigger another sailing action, which is either going to be if I build something that lets me do a sailing action, like, say, this major building. But unfortunately, that's not till later. My uh, worthwhile opponent grabbed the only bonus sailing in the first age. So that means I'm just going to have to have these clogging up my space for a while, which means I need to clear this other stuff out. So I should start writing or scribbling poetry or building. Now, to build, you can't build without at least a little bit of gypsum or lumber. Or no, that's not true. Um, I'm sorry. You could use, since I've got this marble, the marble can be the base of some. It could be the base of this, because this has a base of marble. And hey, it's an arch. We know that the uh, Sultan loves arches. And so that's the thing. I could use this marble and I could use this and pump this all in here. And well, yeah, here's the question. If I build this, can I be in harmony and balance? If you look at the card, you will notice there are different colored tiles on either side. I started with a tile. What you want to do is you want to be when I when I uh, make a, uh, a a minor construction I have to put it on one side or the other. This gets me no bonus, so that's no bueno. If I could do this card instead, oh, that's harmony, and I would get a buck and I'd get to upgrade a storage. So that's great. But this is greenery. This isn't helping me. I want arches because that's what the Sultan says. 
But this doesn't match. Now, this is a wild. This will match with anything. You know, I could build this and go like this. And this is considered to be matching on the orange, which um, would get me my choice of four coins, four stars, or some combination thereof. So, plus I could get a lot of points for using my marble and clearing out my storage. Plus, I'd be making an arch, which would make the Sultan very happy for in-game scoring. So that is all a big possa possa possibility. But don't forget... I get discounts and extra points if I do poetry. And blue poetry is where it's at just as much as arches. So, am I going to do some more poetry? Well, let's take a looky look at what is on offer. Now, because I've already done one poem, it's going to cost me, um, by default, one plus one. It's going to cost me two plus one more, and then minus one because I already get a discount. So I can do any of these as a blue, but it would be cheaper for me to do any of them as a red. So what can I get off of these? And of course, these are all nice. So this one, um, uh, me to get a raw material, which to be fair is a problem, but hey, I will be getting rid of materials. No, I won't. That's the problem. I won't be getting rid of... No, I'll be getting rid of building materials, so I'd be able to take the raw material. Oh, and the raw material doesn't take any space. So get a raw material or one of the materials listed so I can get a raw material from the rondelle. So either a bolt of cloth or a bolt of cloth or get a gypsum or a wood. And in addition to that, pick any blue city, whether I have presents or not there, and get the bonus. And there's a lot of blue cities. I could just say, hey, how about I get three bucks? How about I get to do two actions? How about I get two points? How about I, you know, a lot of, so that's very, very cool. Um, if I take this one, this says for the rest of the game, uh, every time I export, I get double rewards. Remember, I've already exported once and I got uh, ceramics. I could have gotten double ceramics out of that every time I export. Or this one, um, this was a during, uh, so this would give me more income. So this will happen at the end of every income phase. We've got four of these. So get at the end of every income phase, two bucks um, plus an additional two points if I'm the first player. So this is potentially, over the course of the game, eight bucks and eight points if I can hold on to first player. Although my opponent might take it from me. That's very nice. Oh, that would be in that kind of money. But, I mean, I could also go reds, and they're cheaper. But, oh, this is going to make me so much cash. And I do not have four bucks, so I still don't have enough to do any of these. And it would really be five, because, again, remember, although, again, it'd be five minus one because of my discount. Oh, man. I think I can't say no to this. This is too sweet for words. So we are going to inscribe another poem, right? Which means, which, no, we are not. Because to do it, my artist has to spend a coin to get all the way around here. Then I'm down to one coin. I won't have enough coins to do this. So I need to get cash first before I keep on pushing the blue poetry agenda. So where am I going to get some cash? Well, I've only got two workers. I got my poet and I got this guy. This guy could just stay home again and make me three more bucks and lose a point, or he could come over here. I'll get two bucks. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I'm going to say, you, get off the sidelines. Go to the city. Go to the market. Get me two dinars, and then do two mercantile actions of my choice. And I could do the same ones multiple times. So there's a bunch to choose here. I could um, sell... or First of all, I could buy... A raw good off the board, that would cost me a buck. Or if I have a trade good, I could sell it for three bucks. I have two trade goods. I could um, I could just sell both those for six bucks, and I'd be set for the next year, maybe even two. I could sell any of the building materials I have, or I could buy building materials. Now here's the deal. I've got so much ceramics, I think one of my two trade actions is to sell one of those ceramics I got and get four more dinars. All right, so now I'm really loaded. I'm not going to worry about money for a while. And what else am I going to do? I get to do one more of these. I could sell my other one, but I'm using my other one to make a lot of points when I do this poetry. I think, you know what, if I want to build more majors, I'm gonna, my other one is I'm going to spend one coin, because I just made a bunch, to get another gypsum, just so I have it on hand so that I can build... I, you can't build the majors without gypsum. So I could build another major... Um, which is a valuable thing to do. So that was it. This guy came over here, made me a ton of money, so my poet is going to know it at the end of the year. Before we get to that, Yusuf says, hey, how, what's my builder going to do? 
My other builder who's still standing, uh, my that builder says, wee, all the way around here. Paid through the nose to do it. And um, let's see, he's just going to build a miner. So once, yep, there's an arch. So just takes that. And uh, oh, also makes three points. So it's as if they use some nice materials for that. One, two, three. Okay, fine. And now, hey, Miss Poet, don't you know it? One, two, three, which means I got to spend a coin to go the extra mile. And now we are going to write this masterful bit of poetry, which costs two, because it's my second blue, plus one more, minus one, means this costs two. So there goes my five, I get a three and change. And now I've got two blue poems. And oh, and don't forget, I also get a point every time I write a poem. Boop! And so now this is just supposed to slide, uh, you know, but I'm just going to slide over here so you can still see them. All right, so now I've got two ongoing, and this is going to be income for the rest of the game. I think that was worth it. Plus, it's a blue poem, and the the uh, Sultan loves seeing those blue poems on the walls everywhere. So that was it for me. And Yusuf's final turn says, "Hi there, I'd like my merchant to go." And um, oh wait, why are your merchant up here, Yusuf? Your merchant should be down here. Oh dear, was the merchant down here, and I just bumped it up here? Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Wait, wait, wait what did the merchant do last time? The, nope. Yes, the merchant was here, was there. So I had to spend one more coin to get in here. And I think at the time I did have one coin. If not, I'm a big fat cheater, folks. And I'm sure Paulo shouted at me, you're the merchant should be down there. Anyway, though, so I, I'm going to assume I had the coin to pay when I got there. So this merchant is now going to move it, move it. They're going to move it over there. And they are going to consolidate. Well, first of all, they'll take this because they can. And then they are going to consolidate Boom. They don't care about anything other than, hey, this is points, uh, extra points for being consolidated. So that's what they did. And oh, and then they also say, uh, give me a point for every consolidated trade good deal I've got, please. So they get another point because they've just got the one. They haven't shipped anything else out. Phew. Okay. We have finished the second year. Much quicker than the first year, folks. This game can actually zip along pretty quick. Although, man, Jen, I found it gets crunchy. So anyway, let's do the end of. Uh, so once again, um, income. I do have some income now. I get two coins, not from consolidation, but from my poetry. And I get two points because I'm holding the first player token. And Yusuf doesn't care about income. All right, next up, we slide it on over. And we've now gone into era three. We don't put, we don't trigger a new scoring. That won't happen until we get to era four. But the first or you know the all of these are gone if we wanted them too bad but now we can start building those over there all righty and the sultan demands three favors i and we have to do it in turn order sometimes this is really important um yeah because whoever is whoever has the most of these stars after this process is over gets to be gets to choose player order and i know yusuf if i although yusuf you know even if i spend them all i'll still be on top so yeah okay i need three one two and then I'll use my seal, either as a coin or as a favor. For I'll just use it as a favor. So I basically saved myself a coin, because otherwise it would have been two coins. So I don't lose anything. Yusuf has nothing, so Yusuf loses two points, because he is not getting those stars. I still hold on to first player, though, because I'm on the top of the stack. If Yusuf ever moves his way forward, then I might end up losing that. But so far, he has not shown, and none of his cards have actually get, said, hey, get some, um, get some star income. Okay, so that was it for making the Sultan happy. Happy. We do not change the... Or no, we do. This event is over. There is no longer a surcharge. And instead, we move on here. Now there is a surcharge for consulting. It's going to cost me a buck to do this. Or, uh, but, and we reveal at the... Um, uh, when we get to the last round... It's happy time. This is a good one. This one says, Hey, whenever you're building or doing poetry... Wait a minute. Did I? Oh, shoot, shoot, shoot. Hold on a second. Well, we'll come back to... That. Come back to this second, because I forgot, folks. When I did my big blast of poetry, I was so excited about the card that I forgot to actually pay for it. Oh, no, that's not true. I paid the money, right? Did I pay the money? No, I didn't even pay the money. I owed two bucks. Always watch with those Klingon subtitles. Turn on Paul keeps me. I paid two bucks, and then I had to pay one basic, which I will pay this. And by the way, it says, if you want to, to keep track, make sure you're doing everything right, which is maybe I should have done, you can use this. Say, okay, pay your money. Pay your basic good, and then if you want, you can pay a different one, and I will pay this. So this is what I paid to do that. 
And um, so I'm broker, but now I've got some free storage space. And this is four plus three is seven points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, suck it, Yusuf. That's how you inscribe poetry in the Alhambra with beautiful marble and ceramics. Okay, so I totally forgot. That's kind of one of the reasons I was doing it, plus the income and everything else I got in the points for the end of the game. So anyway, here's the deal. When you build or inscribe, it always says, hey, you have to spend a base and then you can spend more. The more always has to be unique stuff. This says for the last round, if we're doing poetry or building in the last round, they don't have to be unique. They could be the same. So if in the last round I want to build something, I could dump a whole ton. I could dump like four um, ceramics into it, even though they match, and get 16 points off it. So we know this is coming for the last round of the, or um, yeah, the last round of the game. Or year five. So we can be planning for that. In the year five, there's going to be a lot of people wanting to build with a lot of the same stuff. Because uh, this is a good one. We've had two bad ones, and we've had one good event that we know is coming. I so appreciate getting to know that it's coming. Okay, anyway. So we did an event. Everybody get on up. Everybody stands up. Okay, and all my people are on the way, are on the board. Yeah, one, two, three, four. As does Yusuf's. We can just keep the goldies down, but the goldies do move. One, two, oh, where were you? You're here? No, you're here now. Two, three, four, one, two, one, two. Okay, so the goldies move, and um, what happens next? Oh, we refill stuff. We have a new poem. There we go. We have a new miner. I haven't done any of these. I might never do them. Um, especially since Yusuf keeps getting all the good ones, at least the ones that the Sultan wants to see. And, oh, okay. We Oh, a lot of storage needs to be refilled. New storage options. Okay. Oh, and uh, one trade good. And one marble, because I snagged that other marble. Okay, so boom. So we refilled everything. And, um, hey, I'm still on top, so I choose. I think I'll hold on to this because it's worth two points for me to hold on to that. And, uh, right, oh, and we switch ages, so now we're building these tiles instead. So, uh, now, all of a sudden, there's a chance to get a bonus shipping action. There's a chance to get a bonus um, poetry action, etc., etc. Um, and I have the gypsum ready to build. So we are on to year three. I continue to be the first player. And when we finish this year, we will get to score all our blue poems, which will score one point plus one additional point. So I've got four points of blue poems over there. Nice. So what am I going to do first? Well, this builder... I could get to this and do some merchant stuff, but otherwise I gotta pay. Well, no, I I gotta pay two coins to get in here. Or I'd have to pay more coins to jump over there. So I think I want to wait for this one from Yusuf to get out of the way potentially. So I don't think I'm gonna have him go, and um, I could go right over here and build and hey, get some more trade goods. But speaking of trade goods, I think it is time to. Have, oh no! Oh, I want to consolidate this, but I also just want to come over here since it's wide open. And um, ship some goods, because I've got some goods to ship. Let's do that. Let's uh, engage in trade. So, remember, because of this, blue cities are better. Is there, an, what was it? Oh, yeah, it's Constantinople that wants exactly what I've got. But to get Constantinople would cost me four coins. I'm short a coin. I'm short a coin. Hold on a second, folks. Should I get some cash money first and then skip right over Ragusa and go right to Constantinople? Or should I do it as a multi-stage thing? Stop in Ragusa, get rid of my clothing, and then later on, stop at Constantinople. Hmm. Well, what I get, if I actually engage in trade with Constantinople right now, my immediate reward is two merchant actions, which isn't really that great. I think, yeah, I think we are going to set sail. Let's come here, lie down, set and sail. And I'm traveling this highway, this byway. It's going to cost me two coins. And I grab another ship, so we piggybacked off of that to come over here. Nice. I've gotten myself another seal for being here first. I um, get three coins. That is my immediate reward for engaging in trade with this nation. And I will definitely give them this, because they want this, um, because that gives me two points and two starry stars. All right, and then that's gone. And now here's the thing. Do I give this other one, which is not what they want, to get another star... And another um, sugar. Or, uh, and, and another uh, point. 
I'm not crazy about that. But here's the deal. This round, we're going to need four stars. And I don't have four stars, which means I'll have to dip into my cash or I'll start losing points. Ooh. Urgh. I wonder if I should have gone and gotten some trade goods first. But I'd have to get them. I'd have to process them, etc., etc. No, I think I'll just leave it, and I'll ultimately try to get Constantinople as well. Uh, because, hey, more blue cities I'm in means more points at the end of the game. So there we go. So I've just done that. I've engaged in trade. I got some money. I got some points and some stars. And I got some more storage space now. And I've got two places where I can consolidate trade, potentially. Although, again, it takes a whole action to do that. And I've only got one merchant that can do it unless, say, oh my gosh, look at this, folks. Unless I build this. Because it would let me consolidate trade with one of these cities. And it's an arch. And you may have heard me mention, the Sultan loves arches. Okay, so that's it for me. What are you um, up to there, Yusuf? Well, first of all, shuffle my stuff, and then I'll tell you, says Yusuf. Here we go. Yusuf says, Master Builder first, please. And all right, so um, they want to come to this. Oh, they can't because there's already one here. Oh, wait, no, no, that's not true. If there's already one there, they can just stay there, as I recall. But if the other one wanted to come here, then I'd have to draw again. So they're just going to stay here. They're going to build a major. And no! Oh, no, it's fine. They're going to build a major. And it looks like, what is that? Is that two points they're going to get? One, two. They're going to build a major. They, um, All things being equal, of the ones they have, they want to do something the Sultan wants. But there are three that the Sultan wants, and they want the highest numbered one. So they will take this one, which a normal player would get to be able to do a uh, bonus um, tile. But they do not. So he's doing pretty good. Look at all these arches he's going to be scoring at the end of the game. But still, he left the one I wanted. So I'm not complaining. Okay, next up. What am I going to do? Okay, I have four bucks. I feel like I should build this quick because um, because this if he builds again, he will build this one. And he's got plenty. He might do it. So, yeah, I'm not going to mess around. Let's come on over here. Master Builder, build. And if I want, and I do, I will spend um, one coin to get a raw trade good. Can't complain about that. That'll be nice for shipping later. And I am going to build. Although it's going to be a crappy build because all I've got is one gypsum and nothing else to pump in. But I don't want to miss a chance because this guy could rush right over here and get it. So with one gypsum, which means I'm building a terrible uh, arch, it's only worth one victory point. But that's okay because unlike Yusuf, I get these bonuses. I move up once. This is my second one. So I move up here. I can get my choice of on the new space, a, a trade good, if there are any. So I could grab one of these trade goods or upgrade this one because uh, I, I can't take this again. Instead, I would upgrade this one. I think I talked about that in the main. Or I could get a wood or a gypsum or I could get another from the first step. I could get another star or another coin. So I've got four things to choose from as a reward for working my way up the Sultan's tracks. Although sadly, I can never get bonus points for working my way up the Sultan's tracks because my opponent grabbed that. Hmm, okay. So, what do I want? Do I want more trade goods? No, I don't think so. Do I want more building materials? Kind of. Do I want... No, I, just, I want to hold on to first player. So I'm just going to take more stars so I can keep the Sultan happy with me because I'm going to need four of these or have to dip into my savings or points instead. So, there we go. So I took that. Uh, which means I really I took another level one instead of one of these level twos. They get better as they go though, like four stars, four points, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So that was my build, right? And I only got one point out of all that for my gypsum, but still that's fine. Yusuf says, "Oh hi, uh, let's have my merchant go." These cards are getting crazy. All right, merchant says hi. I would like my merchant to move all the way over here and um, take what's there. Yep, took it. And do a new sailing action. Hey, you're finally going to engage in trade and get a point for every place that we have sailed. Okay, so so he's going to set sail. It's my, it might as well be as if he has infinite trade goods. Um, so he wants to travel the least distance possible from Granada or from Argyle, where he is. He doesn't have to pay, though. And he wants to get to a place that meets that. So he wants to go to a blue where there is still... He wants to travel the shortest distance possible to get to a blue where there is still a seal. So what's that going to be? Um, or you know, all right. So I think it's going to be this, right? One, two, three to get over to Genova, as because I've already taken that seal, and it would be yeah. So he's going to sail over here, grab this seal, which he will be able to use uh, to make uh, so he won't lose so many points. 
All right. And then he goes. He gets two points because he's in two cities now. One, two. Okay. Right. Um, I've still got one worker and I've still got my poet. Don't you know it? And right. So time to write some poetry, which means, again, I got to pay through the nose to run all the way around here. Oh, wait. Shoot. I forgot. I forgot. I forgot. I was, so busy, I was so busy focusing on building this thing. Uh, I got one part of it, but I didn't get my other reward, which is consolidate. And then I flip these to indicate I've done one arch and one fountain, which nobody cares about. So I consolidate this to lock in this income. Now, this is tricky. This is a buck for um, one, two, three. For the remaining three times that we'll get income, three bucks and three trade goods. But only if trade goods are still on the board. If at the end of the round they've all been taken, I only get half of this reward. And there's only one left. And, you know, he might take it. Or, or, yeah, he could. If he comes here, he'll end up taking that. So I think I'm going to take this one instead, which says, hey, get a marble, a wood, or a gypsum every or during every income. So I'm going to get three more building materials to help me build later on. So I have consolidated here. Now, if I were in a red city and I consolidated, I would get a, it's like I would take a whole extra turn to do a merchant or a build or, um, you know, a, a storage upgrade. The, uh, you know, so the reds are just instant, really nice super rewards, but then they're done. Although there are ways that you can trigger them again. So, um, but uh, instead, the blue ones aren't necessarily powerful, but they uh, pay out uh, repeatedly. So I now have got my first consolidation, which I did with that, which I mentioned before. But anyway, back to what I'm going to do now. Am I going to merchant? Nobody's gotten out of here. And in fact, he's not going to leave. He stayed here. So I would have to spend a coin to get over here. Now, if I come over here, I haven't mentioned these. These are go to the quarry. And um, not only could I pay a coin... I'd have to pay a coin to get here. I could pay a coin to grab this. And then I get three, my choice combination of marble or wood. That's not bad. That's not bad. And I'd be taking that before he might get it. I know my artist is going to move over here. But now if his marvels, his marvels will just move here. So I know I'm safe. I don't have to rush on that. So I really should have my um, builder go first. So I think I will. I will spend... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Remember, I need... Oh, no. Here's my problem. My artist, I want to do a third poem. I have nothing to do it with. So, that would be very sad. So, as much as I'd love to run over here, I'm instead just going to run right here. Not going to pay anything. And, um, oh, although it's not too bad. It's not all bad. Because, hey, first of all, I'm right, let's see. I'm going to do all these things, including this. If I spend a coin, which I will do, there's no good here. But instead... I can upgrade, or I can process an existing one. So now I've got more, so I can do the super delivery to Constantinople later. Nice. Okay, so that's perfect. So I took that. I'm going to get two coins for visiting the market, and then I can do two market actions. And so this is a chance for me to buy the stuff that I will use to inscribe this poem, which will be my next action. And what if I, and remember, although I remember, I need to keep one coin to be able to make it over here. Oh, wait, but, oh, but I need coins to do... If I'm going to do another blue, that's a problem. Oh, my gosh. Wow. If I do another blue, it's going to cost me... Oh, okay, the, the, the... Oh, shoot. When I consolidated, I forgot. We have the bad event. I had to pay a coin, so I have one less coin than I thought I did. I, I, hopefully, I'm not cheating there. Hopefully, I had a coin when I did this. I'm pretty sure I did. So, I've got three coins. I need one coin to get here. If I do a red, it's only going to cost me one because it's my first red. If I do a gray, it's going to cost me three because it's my first. And remember, I get those discounts. If I do a blue, it's going to cost me one, two, uh, minus one. So it's just going to cost me one. All right. So am I going to do another blue so that I can get the big points? Do I want to start locking in these? These could be huge amounts of points. Although here's the thing. I have not done a variety of colored poems. I have not done a lot of upgrades. And I haven't done any architectural balance. I haven't really leveraged any of these. The one I've done is the one he took, which was the Sultan's Palace. I might go just not doing any of these and just keep on focusing on the blue. I think so. I think so. So, yeah, I just want to keep on pushing that blue agenda. Which, like I said, gets progressively more expensive. But I do I do have a, an offset for that because it is a little bit cheaper for me. So, all right, so I'm going to need a coin to get there. And let's see, I have two, I have one plus two more. So it's re it's really three. So I need four total coins. Um, and I've got three. So here's the deal. I have to buy something to do it. And then I have to sell something. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, the only thing I've got to sell is processed goods. 
I could sell them for three bucks. But then I got the perfect stuff for Constantinople. But hey, you know what? There is more cloth. I might be able to get that. So of my two things I'm going to do here, I'm going to sell this processed cloth and make three more coins. So I've got, so that's one of the two. And then my other is, let's see, what is the, I think poems at the very least need marble. I am going to spend two to buy a marble. Oh my gosh. Oh, by the way, he took this marble when he landed here. I should have... He always takes the stuff that's on board. I didn't grab that marble for him. <gasps> right, yeah, he didn't grab the marble. Fine. All right, so I'm going to buy a marble for two. Right, so it'll be the best I can do. So those are my two actions, plus making the money, plus getting the trade good. Or no, plus processing the trade. So I processed the trade good that I immediately sold. Fine. Yikes. Okay, so that was that, and now I'm ready for my poet. No, I'm not. I need um, one, two, three. Yeah, no, I, I am. I'm, I'm, yes, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay, cool, cool. All right, so uh, Yusuf says, hi. I'd like to have my poet do something, and that would be move. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. Folks, how does the AI know to do exactly what I don't want it to do to block me? Because now, all of a sudden, to get in here, I need to spend an extra buck. Wow. Come on. All right. So, uh, Yusuf is, moves down here. Great. Uh, all right. So, they've done a minor. They've done a major. So they're going to do another minor now. They just want the highest numbered one, which is going to be this one. So, they just go ahead and do that. And then, they get three points. Fine. 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 One, two, three. Fine. Okay. And now I'm still going to do it. So now I have to spend two bucks to get in there. One to move the extra step and one because it's occupado. So there went two. But wait, no, I think it's still fine. I've still got three coins, right? So, um, right. Which one of these do I want? I didn't even look at this one. Not that it matters because it's gone now. Earn one point and one star for each worker, which is not your own present in the square you move to. Oh, so that makes it worthwhile to have to pay money to go to a place. That's nice. I'm not too worried about that. So, okay, I've still got this one, which, I mean, I, did, I was worried about this one before because I didn't have storage. Now I do. So I'm going to do this. This costs one plus two minus one. One, one plus two is... Um, I'm, I'm breaking up. Three minus one. So it only cost me two. So I still pulled it off. Plus I have to have at least one good, which will be this marble. And marble gives me three points. One, two, three. And this is my third blue. And its power is that I have increased my income. This is going to activate three times. Getting raw materials or building materials and activating a city. Every for three more times. Nice. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay. Boom. And then finally, Yusuf says, oh, my last worker. I forgot all about him. Let's have him go. And uh, zip all the way around here. And uh, nope, nothing to take. And go on ahead and build a big one, right? So they just want what the... Right, so they'll just take the last arch. I just left him for him. I just gave him to him. And score four points. Uh, one, two, three, four. Boom. Oh my gosh, he is going to clean up with all these arches at the end of the game. Um, oh my goodness. Well, we'll see how it goes. Okay, so that was it. We have finished year three. So once again, we do income. So hey, I get income. One of the th of uh, one non-ceramic basic building material. Let's go on ahead and grab some gypsum because you always need gypsum to build some of these, although all the good ones are gone now. But I'll still, I'm sure, I mean, I want a free shipping thing to be able to get over to Constantinople. And then my merchant could um, go on ahead and consolidate as an example. So I'll for this income, I'll take a gypsum. And uh, let's see, I don't get any income here, but then I've got extra income. Two bucks and two points if I'm still the lead player, which I am. Two bucks and two points. And, oh, was this other one? Right, okay. A trade good. And fortunately, one was still on the board. So I could take this right now, which is what I need for delivering to Constantinople. So I'll take it and instead of trade good. And I can now activate any one blue city, right? And the income from a blue city, whether I am there or not. So I can activate any of these. Two um, merchant actions. That's nice. Three bucks. 
more building. Uh, processed good. So I could just process this. So I'm ready to ship them. Oh my gosh. Oh no, but no, blue cities, not red cities. So, ooh, a ceramic. I'd kind of like to get that. Or this one is, uh, you know, oh no, again, that's a red. So a ceramic, so that when I do my next poem, but ceramics can't be the basis. If I get another marble, then I'm guaranteed to be able, as long as I've got the money, but just money, just straight up money. Or two points, two points. No, again, that's a red. Oh my gosh. Okay, 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 okay. All right, oh my. You know what? I'm just gonna keep it simple. Just money. Show me the money. That's what I want. Okay, money changes everything. Okay, so we got we did our income. Now we move on up, and it's time for another mid-game scoring. So we put this here. All blue poems wor are worth a point. All poems, period, are worth a point. So I have um, six poems. That's six, or three poems. Each one's worth two. That's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. How are you doing, Yusuf? Yusuf has some poems. Did he have a poem before at the end of the first round? I think he did, didn't he? What did your... Yes, yes, he did. So you know what? I should have given him a poem, a point on the first one. So, but now he has one, two, three... All right, so he has three poems, and um, they all count as blue, and they are, or you know, these count as blue. So uh, he has three, so one of, so that's three points, one, two, three, and then two of them can be considered blue, so that's two more. So he caught right up with me. Ah, my poem mastery is not paying off as well as I had hoped. Okay, but I'm keeping up. I'm staying ahead. All right, so that was it, and all right, we don't trigger, we don't change the event yet, um, but now. The king demands four, and I've got to do it first, and I want to stay ahead of him. But I'll just go ahead, one, two, three, because he hasn't earned any stars. I might be forgetting something. If so, I'm sure Paul has already pointed out that there might, maybe there's some way he earned stars that I just haven't seen yet. Hmm, anyway, though. So one, two, three, and either I lose a point, or I give up two bucks, or how about I give up this seal I recently got? That's fine. All right, cool. So I, I gave him, and he doesn't have anything. He does have a seal, but he needs three more, so he loses one, two, three. All right, so there we go. And um, then we're starting here again. But I'm getting up to where I can start making major ones over there. All right, so that's king. We don't have an event. Everybody stands up. Uh, get on up. All right, the goldies all move. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two. And, all right, then we refill things. More poems. More poems. Uh, oh, nobody grabbed any of those this time. We need new trade goods because all three were gone. One of which I got as a free income. Or all four, I should say, were gone. Need to refill that over there. And, um, yeah. And then, oh, first player. Hey, since I'm still on top, I'll keep it because that's worth two points to me. And uh, we move on to uh, round four. We have two more full rounds, eight more worker placements. And then we move here. Uh, this is not a round. This is just a final scoring where we do uh, an alternate version of the scoring. But that's when the arches and the outhouse or the uh, separate buildings score points in addition to all the poem scoring points as well. And we're up and at him again. I'm going to hold on to first, which means I am the first to zip around. And I've got some gypsum I could build right away, or I could go... Oh, wait, oh, wait, wait, I didn't get my reward from us. No, I did. I took three money. I took three money instead of that. So I've got enough cash to start doing some stuff, and i got to figure out what I'm going to do. Honestly, folks, I'm not quite sure. But I think I'm going to stop right there, because that should give you a pretty good idea of the overall flow of Sabika. Now, if you want to hear some final thoughts, you can hit that eye in the top right corner screen, or follow the show notes in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1.